Uh, dear learners, my name is Isingoma Anatolius, a geography teacher, and I'm going to be taking you through geography of A level. Geography of A level has two papers, three papers, it has three papers, that is geography, paper one, this one is also called the, the physical geography, physical geography of East Africa. That's paper one. Uh, the physical geography of East Africa has the two compulsory numbers. That is map work, taking a 25 marks. Photographic interpretation, Photographic interpretation also carrying 25 marks. Then section A, B, and C section is B and C. So whereby section B you choose a question and then you choose another question in section e, C, totaling you to 100%. But the two first ones, map work is compulsory, then photographic interpretation is also compulsory. Then paper two, that one is called the world problems, world problems and development. World problems and development. It has one compulsory number, which is statistics. Statistics is compulsory. Then, any other three numbers in section A, B, giving a total of 100 marks. About that geography of Uganda is paper. Three. Our paper three of geography has one compulsory number that is field work. Field work is compulsory and it carries out text of 25 It takes 25 max. Then you choose any other three to give you a total of a uh, hundred marks. Now for today, I am going to take you through paper three, geography of Uganda, paper three. Geography, Paper, Geography Paper 3. As, as uh, I had already told you briefly, that the paper is made up of one compulsory number, that is field work, and then any other three of your choice. So, um, to highlight you or to give you, uh, I'm going to start with this topic of field work. The topic of field work. I know some of you covered this in other level, in all level, where you are told to go out, move around, outside the class, where you conducted the uh, field work. So still it's similar to that, that you covered it during that time. So, to begin with, what is field work? What is field work? By definition, field worker is a study, a lesson that is carried out 
outside the classroom environment. Lesson that is carried outside the classroom environment, whereby this time we don't sit in the class, but rather we move around to study geographical futures in different areas of, of study. For the case of us here, we can carry out field work in maybe in Java Fish Learning Site, the Calvert, um, here in Budisa district, or anywhere else. It could be around the market, it could be around any other thing. But what we should note is the lesson is carried outside the classroom. That's what makes it or gives it a name field work. When you are taken out for field work, you have not gone for tour, no. You have not just gone to see different futures, but rather you have gone to learn, <coughs> as we are going to see different things. Why cut out field work? What is the, why do we need to learn field work? One of the importance of learning field work is it exposes you to the different geographical environment. You are exposed to different geographical environment. Different geographical futures. That's one of the reasons why we conduct or we carry out to field work. Then, to break boredom, When you can continuously learn from class, from the classroom, uh, sometimes as a learner you get bored. But uh, when you're taken outside, you break that boredom. So this is one of the reasons why we conduct field work. The other reason why we conduct field work is to have a relationship, to have a relationship with the physical environment. Some of these things we have been hearing them in class, they may be a lake, a river, a market, but we may not be knowing how they look like. You see, you hear of a, a, a hill, a, a mountain, or a road, a town, but you may not be knowing what exactly they look like. They look like. So, when we go outside to the classroom, when you are taken out for field work, we learn, we relate, we use our eyes and the other means to see and actually conceive and accept that this is what has been or this is what has been this is what has been learning in class. So that is one of the reasons to have that relationship with the physical environment. So there are very many other, there are very many others, but briefly, that's what I can I can give you. So dear learners, uh, the first thing to note in the field work is one, we should know <coughs> that the field worker has stages. It has three stages. The first stage is called the, the preparation stage. Preparation stage. What is this preparation stage? The preparation stage The preparation stage has so many things. It is a stage that we begin with. Where, where do we start from? Actually, it begins right off from the time the student conceives an idea of the teacher, conceives an idea of taking out to the learners outside the class to learn, to learn from outside. 
So preparation stage mainly contains three uh, four items. The first item is called the pilot. That is the first item. I'm going to elaborate more and I'm going to explain each of these. But to the first of all, highlight to you, give you highlights. The first stage is called the pilot. The pilot stage. That is a stage where maybe uh, one or a few people, maybe the leader of the group, first of all goes to the actual area of fieldwork where it is going to be carried out and seek for permission and see whether the items to be, uh, that are required are there. So we call it a piloting, pilot study. The second stage, I mean the second uh, activity in the preparation stage is a topic. The topic. So as I'm going to also explain for you that the topic has also a number of elements as we are going to see one by one. But to first of all highlight the three things that, I mean the four things that we require. Pilot, the topic, objectives, and then lastly, the methods. Those are the key things that we find in the preparation stage. As you have heard from several different examinations, sometimes you are required to explain their pre-field preparations. When you are required to explain the pre-field preparations, you need to know that there are four pre-field preparations. The pilot stage, the topic, the objectives, and the methods of data collection. That thing is summarized in a word, Pitom. For remembrance, so that you don't forget, you have to, if you can memorize that word, Pitom, that is the order. Preparation stage has its orders. The first, the method cannot come before pilot. Neither can objectives come before topics. So we have to recognize them, write them in their correct order. That is a, the pilot stage, uh, pilot, the topic, the objectives, and methods of data, methods of data collection. So, uh, each of these has different elements, as I had already highlighted on, on to this, that the topic the pilot stage, uh, stage is that period whereby one of the leading, one of the, of, of the few people in the class or in the group goes first in the area selected and then gets the requirements for field work. Then the topic is carried out and it is written down in class. This topic should be in relation to the pilot that was carried out because the topic should, should, must be related to the pilot that was conducted. Then after getting a, a, a topic, appropriate objectives, appropriate objectives are, uh, are given out. Then lastly, you think for the method is that uh, you are going to do what? To use while conducting a uh, field work. So those are, uh, say, are under what we call the pre-field preparations. We should note the following. The topic of study must have one. The topic must be geographical, precise. It must have the location. Location. Where did you carry out field work? Uh, it should have relationship. Huh? So you write a topic which is brief but having uh, the requirements. The location, the, uh, the, the, the what was carried out, location, what was carried out, and where, and maybe the outcomes. Clear? So, uh, then you write objectives. Objectives should also be in relation to the topic. You can't uh, write objectives that are different from the topic. They should be related. There should be a very big relationship between the topic of study and the objectives of study. So those things are very, very vital and they 
form the basis of field work and they are under what we call the preparation stage. Thank you.